It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the New York Jets, and it's coming up next. Autumn starting to give way to the first hints of winter as we are at a chilly MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, a lot of buzz here in the tri-state area about these Jets in 2023. Do you think that they are ready to challenge the Bills and the Dolphins for supremacy in the AFC East? I certainly do, and for two big reasons. Number one, Aaron Rodgers is in town at quarterback, but number two, their defense, which kept them in every game last year and only got better through the draft this year, they can pair those together. They can compete with anyone in the AFC East and the AFC in total. And meanwhile, for the Chargers, you know, they have the pieces in place. They were a playoff team in 2022. What do you see for them this year? You give this team full health throughout the season, and they have a chance to be not just a playoff team again, but beyond, because they'll scare the heck out of you on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, that's where they have to start playing a little bit better. Now the kicker, that's Cameron Dicker, set to get us started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. This taken in right around the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. Oh, did the Jets miss this guy? Here's Brees Hall. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give them 15 yards to start their first drive of the game. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Got an open man, that's CJ Uzama. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Second down and three. On second down, a run with Hall. And the play goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. They blitzed there, but to be honest, I don't know if it would have mattered had they blitzed or not. That run play was going nowhere. Yeah, it's really, really difficult at times to figure out where that defense is coming from. But if you're committed to running the football, you can get people up on those linebackers, right? Those guards don't have to block anyone at the line of scrimmage. They can get up to the second level and create some space. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Throwing is Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. 
We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. On first down, Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Second and 10 now from the 27. Back to the ground with Hall. Five yards, now it's third and five. But if you're gonna have a relay race, you're probably gonna pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. Here's Wilson. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. And that sack there, that likely brings out the field goal unit, so they might have to settle for three here on their opening drive. They did some nice things, getting things started there, moving the ball downfield, but taking that sack on third down, that lets the air out of the momentum balloon just a little bit. Zerline's kick is up and through, and the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well, so your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And this taken in at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So the Charger offense making its way out. And at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age, out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. The Chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of Herbert, who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons. Over 4,700 yards last year, he's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Eckler going to get it again on second down. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. Here's Herbert. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away.
It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now Hall to start the drive. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. But there to make the tackle, Khalil Mack. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. It'll go as a gain of 11 and the Jets first down. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. On first and 10, it's Wilson. His throw incomplete. Normally he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Now it's Wilson. He's got the first down and more. And finally brought down at the 38. That third down conversion good for 23. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first and 10, it's Hall. Shifts by him. And he's brought down at the 19 after a game of 19. First down in the red zone. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Forced out to his left. And he is going to slide to a halt inside the five-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch, and they are able to add on to their advantage. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really serving the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands. Knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So that drive goes eight plays. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. 
And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. They started on the ground with Eckler. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield. And now off to the races down the right side. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive and until that run. There was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting rooms. They planned for a run like that to happen, maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said. Move on to the next play. That one just happened. Let it go. On first down, Justin Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Eckler gonna get it again on second down. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Partner, I know we're in a goal to go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15 yard line. Call it a loss of eight there, and it's going to lead to a fourth down. Fourth and goal. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32 yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10. 
at their own 24. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. He finds Randall Cobb on the completion. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be second down. Here's Wilson to throw. And this will be incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cobb. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. Hall on a give up the middle. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. To throw is Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Hall. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. That's a pretty play. They were coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Oh, and this one him may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. And defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Now Wilson on second down. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Now Wilson. Complete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. And the rookie Darius Davis deep for the Chargers. And this will be out of bounds, and they spotted it the, at the 15-yard line. Not too bad the offense for Los Angeles returns to the field and after the field goal last time we'll see what they can get here and at least they got points out of the last drive Charles I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick <laughs> most of them want to end with a PAT right in this case a field goal they'll take it way better than the alternative which is a punt yeah but you met fan bases that wanted that <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal <laughs> i haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point that's it throw left side is hauled in by palmer and mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39 call that a very strong gain of 24. Now it's Herbert. 
That's caught by the rookie, Quentin Johnston. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Herbert. Open man, it's Palmer. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. Here's Herbert. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Quentin Johnston, the intended receiver on the play, and it's third and short. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. Running on first down, Eckler. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. You give them five yards there, and it's enough for the first. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and seven from the 20. They toss it out right to Kelly. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Joshua Kelly taking it in from the 20. And the Chargers are an extra point away from drawing level. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. A 10-play drive that time. And to cap it off, a touchdown run of 20 yards. now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. And the Jets set to take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10.
Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Now a late signee let go by Minnesota in June. It's Dalvin Cook. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. Nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes. No one over pursuing and making a very nice play. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Wilson. To the sideline and incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he is gonna have the Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? From just shy of midfield, here's second down and two. They go play action with Wilson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their 38. He'll hand off here to Eckler. Breaks a tackle. Taken down at the 42. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Second down at six now from the 42. It's Eckler again, and he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. That is caught. He's going to have the first down and then so. Touchdown, L.A. Quentin Johnston, 57 yards. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit them with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give them some confidence. And the other thing right now, it quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. The extra point try now from Dicker. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Scoring summary, three play drive. And it was Quentin Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab.
Now after the Digger field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Brees Hall help leading out this offense for another series. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Dance into his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down. So he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. On first down, right back to Hall. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Wilson. He'll get this to Lazard. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now it's Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Wilson will throw again. And his throw is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Here's Wilson. Open man, here is Cobb. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. Throwing again here, Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half.
Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Again, Wilson. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Wilson. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Chargers going to take over now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. And this time, they'll just keep this on the ground. And Eckler is going to pick up a Chargers first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. So we have reached halftime intermission with the visiting Chargers on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. 
But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them too. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. And he comes back with one complete. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is taken at the 23. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Jets will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out, and now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazard. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Here now, second and four. From the gun, it's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Wilson to Wilson there. Zach to Garrett for a jet first down. Running left, it's Hall. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time, every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that, and that really chips away at your confidence. They go play action now, Wilson. And incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Wilson. And that will be incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for New York. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? 
And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. From the 25, here's second down at seven. Now it's Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And Allen's going to have a Chargers first down as he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Herbert now. throw here's incomplete a good play on the ball getting a hand on it but it was tipped up in the air before falling incomplete and at least way too many moments where bad things can happen for a defense and good things can happen for an offense and this is tough to teach in today's football because everyone wants to make a highlight play tip it up in the air grab it yourself take it the other way but sometimes that can backfire how do you teach these guys to just make the good, solid, fundamental play of knocking it to the ground and not trying to make a highlight reel play that could backfire? Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Second down and eight. Here's Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he is down at the 48, a pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Herbert. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. And this is a beauty as that ball is going to angle out at the six-yard line. The New York set to take the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. On first down, Wilson. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. And he's finally shoved out all the way up at midfield. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 44 yards. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. 
Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Second and ten. To throw again as Wilson. A quick throw there he is incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing is Wilson. He's got it with the 15. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A handoff for Hall. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Now Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Shrugs him off. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Jets field goal. A 23-yard attempt. And they fake it. They pitch to the tight end. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. start on the ground here on first down and the big boys up front they're going to stop him right at the line call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down he was searching for a lane but on that play everything closed very fast yeah so far the one-on-one -on -one stuff up front trying to block those big men not really working too well i'm thinking maybe some traps maybe some sweeps to get them moving that might help out a little bit to try and find some room to run he dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. This is going to be incomplete. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. They'll start on the ground. Hall, nifty move. And they'll hold him to three there as he takes this up to the 47. We've called a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. Now Wilson on second down. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to bring up second down. Now it's Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Wilson will throw again. Looking middle, and that's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. Here's Wilson to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Throwing again here, Wilson. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Alan Lazard from six yards away. And the Jets have retaken a third-quarter lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter 
run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. His throw complete right side to the tight end, Parham. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll fake the handoff, now Herbert. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Out of the gun, Herbert. That's taken in by Palmer. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 43. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now a give running left is Eckler. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 93 yards on the ground for Eckler here. That's a first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Gerald Everett, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown on the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drives seven plays in length. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one.
Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now it's Wilson. Got a man. That's Lazard. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Here's a give to Hall. Gets past one man. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 10 yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and a couple. Wilson. Caught left side by Kyle. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Here's Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up second down. Play action. Now Wilson. It's Hall, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Again, Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And if they're throwing up third down, it's a good bet. They're going to look his way. He's the most reliable of their receivers. And he comes through there with a nice grab for the first down. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's complete right around the eight. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Wilson now off the bootleg. That's to the pylon and incomplete. Boy, that was lockdown coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. But that was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Wilson. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything, forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, a five-yard touchdown. And the Jets have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter.
Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Zerline good with a PAT, and that gives him a three-point lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Charger defensive unit making their way back out there. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second, this is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this, and they're on the move here with a first down. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. And they'll come up second and seven. Now it's Herbert. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're gonna sell the go, just go, well, let's see who's faster. Beckler, they run left side. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's second and seven. Here's Herbert. It's reeled in downfield by Johnston. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Quentin Johnston, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers are able to move back in front. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And that will make this a four point game. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it was Quentin Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. New York's offense back out there and set to go. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. 
get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. By the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Throwing is Wilson. And check down, complete to Hall. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. the play fake. Here's Wilson. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Looked like some hands both ways. They got it on the offense. And sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the DB, and he knocked that one away. Might have caused an incompletion that could have been an interception. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time, they played their responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Just a disaster of a series here. Third and long, no one open anywhere. This ball just has to be thrown to the sideline. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe do you put it in the air on second down or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Herbert. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Yeah, 
Here's J.K. Scott now, standing just outside his own goal line. Taken right around the 44. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. So here is Wilson and the Jets. Down 31-27. A minute 45 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Wilson. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Wilson to pro, throwing the out route incomplete. It's Wilson. And that absolutely cannot happen. Just a gain of a yard in this situation, you've got to get chunks of yardage. Otherwise, the defense, very happy with what you're doing. Well, this defense needing a stop here. Got to have it, third and nine. Throwing now is Wilson. Throw out wide is incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it, because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Here we go, it's Wilson on fourth down. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful, not so far in this game. The Jets gonna go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write it into this one. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.